Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, we are doing Friday favorites, and um, I don't have a lot to show you, to be totally honest. Um, I've been using a lot of the same products, so I don't have a lot of products to show you. But, you know, I wanted to give you something, and these are the products I've been using this week that I have been enjoying. Uh, just, I have two colored makeup products and the rest is nails and skin. So we're just gonna dive right in. And then um, I'm gonna show you a non-beauty product. So, um, on my nails this week is, by, what is this called? Coral Reef by Sally Hansen Extreme Nail Wear. So this is what I've been wearing this week. Uh, I really do love it. It does get a little bit thick at times because it is drugstore, so I do have to thin it out um, here and there. But I do love this color. It's affordable. It's drugstore. This is what it looks like on my nails. I haven't been wearing a lot of color on my nails just because they have been splitting, so I had to cut them short. Um, but I couldn't resist because, you know, it's it's summertime. You like to do, like, you know, big pops of color. So I put a little coral on my nails. And I think this is one of my favorite corals. One of my top five favorite corals, I would say. So if you're looking for a coral, you don't want to spend a lot of money on your for your nail polish. The Sally Hansen Extreme Nail or Extreme Wear Nail Color in, in Coral Reef. That's what it says, Coral Reef. If you want to see swatches of my nail colors, definitely follow my Instagram, uh, which is listed in the down bar below. I do um, plenty of nail swatches on colors and different brands and such. So that one was a favorite this week. I pulled that out of my stash to use. Um, the next two products are my makeup products, and they are lipsticks, one of them of which I'm wearing today. So the one I'm wearing today is called uh, Geradium geradium by lime crime so that's what it looks like on my lips i have a nude lip liner underneath very very pigmented very creamy very moisturizing not drying at all love how these wear um they are quite expensive i think they're like 26 bucks or something like that but i have to say um they are worth the money i invested in these a long time ago and I'm glad I did because I just love this color. This is like a, I guess it's like a coral, but like a baby pink at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, so that has been a favorite. Then the other one is Center Fuchsia by Lime Crime as well. This one's a bit darker pink and it's more of like the magenta type of color. Again, moisturizing, not drying, very creamy. You can tell that they're very creamy because the shine to them on like if you see that shine, you can tell they're they're creamy. Um so that has been a favorite as well. I have like four or five Lime Crime lipsticks and I know there's like this whole thing going on about Lime Crime and you know where they get their product and all that. I don't really pay much attention to the rumors out there. Um if I like a product, I'll tell you if I like a product. So, I mean, for me, I would definitely say these these lipsticks are probably better than the Gerard Cosmetic ones, only because they're not drying. The Gerard Cosmetic ones are so drying that they, like, ball up on your lips. It's really disgusting. These ones don't do that, and that's why I love these ones. So, definitely thumbs up in my book for the Lime Crime lipsticks. Um, so, moving on to skincare. And skincare, I have been... I've been a skincare fanatic for probably about, I'm hitting two years now in a row. And I don't think I'll ever get tired of skincare just because it's so important for you to take care of your skin so that when you apply your makeup on top, you have a good base to work with. Um, so when I wash my face at night and in the morning during the day, the last couple weeks, I've been using the St. Ives Naturally Clear clear pore cleanser purifying face wash with tea tree oil so this is what it looks like it's a drugstore product um it comes in a pump which is like my favorite and there's no parabens so 
that's what I love about this as well is that there's there's no parabens and um, I'm trying to stay away from parabens as much as I can so this you can get at Walmart I picked mine up at Walmart and you know it's like four or five bucks and honestly this cleanser really does work um, it doesn't make you, your skin feel tight um, it just cleans the skin to the point where your makeup is coming off and it's coming off easily you're not having to scrub your face so if you guys are looking for something to control any breakouts and you have like you know a little bit oily skin this is a good one I really do like it from the drugstore you, I picked mine up at Walmart and it has been a favorite since I started using it so I wanted to let you guys know about it um, it's a little more on the liquidier side as you can see but honestly it does lather up really nicely and it does work so that's what that's what I love about it for my moisturizer now I use a daytime moisturizer and I use a different nighttime moisturizer so the nighttime moisturizer I'm using right now is the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion um, this you can use day and night if you wanted to I have so many skincare products that I'm using a different one for day but this one is is good you can use this for day and night it's not going to you know make your skin oily or anything like that I have been loving this though in an evening I just find that it's a tad because it's a lotion it's a tad bit more I don't want to say greasier but it's more lotiony opposed to like a gel form of moisturizer so um, I like this one at nighttime just because it's a little bit more lotiony so that it's a little bit more hydrating for the evening when you're sleeping, right? So I have been liking this. I thought I wasn't going to like it because I heard a lot of mixed reviews on the lotion form of it. I've tried the gel form and I do like the gel form. It's, it's very cooling and very... Um, refreshing on the face and I would I would suggest the gel one for during the day this one I like more at night because it's a lotion and I do enjoy it so it's a thumbs up in my book and I'm actually pretty impressed with it because it is quite pricey um, at Sephora so if you're gonna invest in a lotion you want to make sure a moisturizer you want to make sure that it does work and it doesn't leave you greasy this doesn't do that so that's what I like about it um, for my non-beauty product I am I'm reading I've started to read again so I started reading the Gossip Girl prequel because I have watched every single Gossip Girl season there is known to man and you know I was I was debating on on reading the entire series because Gossip Girl is based on a book series but I thought to myself why am I gonna waste my time if I already know what's gonna happen in that series the prequel is actually um, something that it's a storyline that has the same characters, but the storyline is before the actual TV series, the, the book series and the TV series uh, occurred. So I am reading that and I'm enjoying to, you know, just sit back with the book and read, especially now that it's nice out. I like to be outside, get some color on my, on my skin, you know, of course with, with sun protection, but, um, it's just, it's just a nice way to relax and I'm hoping for some good weather in the next few weeks that way I can get my my butt to the beach but I don't know if I'll be able to do that this weekend since we have some rainy days coming our way in the next couple days so that kind of is a bummer but you know what um, even if I just get one day of sun the next three days I would I would be happy I would be content just so I can just mellow out and chill other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for coming and watching and supporting me. I will talk to you guys all in my next video. And don't forget to comment, subscribe, and thumbs up the video if you want to see a... I was thinking of doing my next video a bit differently. Um, I wanted to do something along the lines of a... Skin, a current skincare routine let me know if you want to see that uh, just because my skincare routine has changed a bit just for the fact that the products in my skincare routine have changed a bit so let me know thumbs up this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one thanks so much for watching bye Mwah.